All right, everyone. We have one of my favorite games, Nomad, which I've really learned to love. Not because I love playing it, because I love watching it after all the chaos happens. Because everyone starts in different places. Who knows what the hell's going on half the game. I know I sure don't know what's going on most of the game. It's just chaos. You know, if you're ever bored of the standard build, try a little Nomad. I still haven't figured it out. Maybe that's because I spent too much time talking and not enough time looking at the people who actually did good. So maybe that's what I'll do this time. Because I know uh, Orange did quite well and several of the players on their team did quite well. Their team was actually very solid. So uh, I'm all out of bubblegum and I really hope he learns how to spell bubblegum one of these days. Just, just fix that for me, Jared, please. It bothers me. It bothers my poor decrepit soul. Um, and I am setting up right next to him. He's actually, I'm getting up really late on this town center. This is very delayed. Still got a villager walking in. Look at everybody else is up, and I'm just starting to build mine. Okay, no, um, my other Jedi. Orange is up. Red, blue, nearly there. Can't see gray because my eyes are old. Where the hell is he? No, he's there. Wow, that was a lucky guess. All right, so I'm not. Yeah, I'm gonna be. I'm definitely gonna be the last one up here. Well, let's see. No, no. It, let's see if I beat the other Jedi. Very slow start for for Team Drunken here. Yeah, no, no. He's even gonna beat me. What about you, Purple? You you've been up for days. Balls for days. Actually, I don't have time to commentate this whole game, but I'll just pause it and get back to it. I got a few minutes. Well, five. Five minutes. Nothing else to do. This mic is too close. You're too close, Mr. Mike. Just got it up. Very certain I was the last one. Man, what happened to the Chinese? Where's his other villagers? Did he lose them? Was he battling? Did he delete them by accident? No idols. Oh, there he is. Where were you? What were you doing? I don't know. People are doing shit. You're walking across the map. Yeah. Wonder who else doesn't take water. I start to, and I see red like pull in on me, and I just stop. You gotta go over here, which is very safe. Middle would have been good, you know. You just never know, cause you don't you don't see all this. This is what I see right here. Darkness. Let's watch, let's watch, let's watch Gray. I think Gray did well. Chinese start. He should have got, I'm pretty sure his town center was up pretty late for having that many villagers. Not sure what was up with that. But he's still on top. Got some nice fishing. The only person that's not looking good is Purple because he's in the middle of all of us. No escape. We'll speed it up just a hair. Also watch Orange. He did really well. Orange is docked at the top. I see. I just was not ballsy this game at all. I should have should have just taken water like a man. Mm -hmm. 
Guess you could see his deer down. Ooh, purple. Playing like pro. Red's got two ducks up, and he's all the way over there. I think I went looking for Red later in the game, thinking he was there. It's a little confusing. Red doing the best, though, with those docks. I don't think I even have... Don't have a fish and chip. I need a fish and chip. A few more minutes here. Oh, my back. Pro move, taking two boar at the same time. Kidding, that's not a pro move. Just in case Jared takes me seriously. I, don't know, I guess he knows he's close if he's over there sniping his sniping his deer. And he's over here taking a lot of I don't know, I have these deer. I don't really have these deer. There's some deer up there. Yeah, I see red. Red saw me. Truth is, I probably scared him as much as he scared me, but I just, I think I stopped making fishing ships. Oh no, Red's there. He's got a villager here. Did he walk him across the map, or was he there the whole time? Oh, he, he's the one who built the second dock. Okay. So he started on two villagers over here, and he's kept one over there just to build houses and junk. I feel like that, that would be hard on your, your score, but... He's just killing it. He's killing it right now. He made it up with all these fishing chips. Fishing jeeps. <clears throat> I'm like dying for some food. I mean, I'm not blue. I'm red. Yeah, I've got no food. I'm afraid to fish because I'm a coward. And I don't care. I don't care. I know what I did wrong. I want to watch these guys. I want to watch red. Got the double lumber camp. I really learned to go more into the lumber camp, the second lumber camp. I used to think, oh, that's a waste of 100 wood, but they just work so more efficiently. Because otherwise, they're all just clumped up, bouncing off each other. There's one guy stuck in the back. Just build two. Pro I promise you, just build two, and you'll you'll be a happier person. Don't be like me over here with the the one. Where my villagers go? I'm all, I'm, I'm luring, no, I'm not even luring. There's a boar right there, I just don't see it. Where's that boar? Where's that boar? Where's that boar? It's not there. It's like a, oh my gosh, look at that. Oh, ha, ha. Hate you, boar, hate you. Yeah, I'm building up the back, I still want to fish. That gray is over here, getting the galleys rolling. I don't think there's any death on the map yet. Well, here we go. We got some scouts out. Turks. Getting his first barracks up. Because if he can stop that barracks, it'd be good. I'm just running, running along here. I don't know what I'm doing. No idea. Very nice. He needs bloodlines, though. Definitely worth it in feudal. Oh, he's up. Uh, he's up. Uh, he's up to castle pretty quickly. Yeah, two. The two of them are on castle. He's got the spears out now, though. Very nice scout rush, though. Got his bloodlines. I'll just move around. The idea is don't fight the spearmen. Just keep looking for other places. I did not tell them to go there. Pretty sure I clicked over here. 
They're supposed to run around the map for me. He's give me some scouting done. There we go. Now he's mixing it up a little bit. Um, gray. Getting out the galleys. Has not moved in yet, but he's got some prime fishing to cut off. Now he's just losing more scouts than it's worth, though. But he's definitely keeping them busy. Because at this stage of the game, if he can't get that town center up, he's in trouble. Looks like he's building this on the third one there. <laughs> My villager's still wandering about the map. I'm not sure why he's doing that. I don't know why I do anything anymore. What time is it? Yeah, I should probably go. But I'll pick this up. In a minute, I just want to. I want the demise of purple here. All right, he's got um orange back him up mines, plum dodgers, plum dodgers. Um, attack it from the north too. I brought that villager down for scouting. Decided to build a castle, a little defense. Doing some raiding. Gray, um. Where are your boats, Gray? Why can't I see them? Did he lose all his boats? Oh, they're there, they're there. Okay. Alright, so I don't know how I missed that town center. I walked right past it. I'm missing everything today. I'm missing boar. Yeah, I should have seen it though, because of that. And just here on protect for some knights. I think he is actually going knights. Oh, look at him. Let's slow down the death. He's trying to run across the map, but he can't. Nowhere to go. Town center down there. No help. But red is starting to be annoying. So, he must have thought that was Orange's castle. He didn't know he only had to snipe my one villager. Purple escaping. If we could have cut that off, that would have been good. He really got... Shot. We really got quadruple teamed. We don't see much on the map from green at this point. Yeah, he's still got scouts. Still feudal last up, but he did good raiding. Looks like he's got a solid eco, but yeah, he's fishing a little. I just I was very unballsy with the fishing. Sometimes you go all on the fish and you lose all your fishing ships and it's just it's very devastating. Breaks your heart and then you just don't want to do it anymore. Playing very defensively. Mainly pikes, oranges, doing mainly raiding with the plumes. And we're just trying to finish purple off. Finally up to castle, Steve. He's spotting out the TCs. We still, I still don't think we've seen this one. I don't know how he was right in my back door. But he's moved up to the north. Got away with six bills, seven bills, eight bills. He's definitely not down and out. Doing better than, uh, well, not doing better than Jared, but. Oh, man. Now Jared's getting the double team. Got the red knights coming in. Yeah, because we're very weak over here. I just had a horrible start. And I'm just not ready. But it's good. I want pikes. Use some upgrades, but... No problem is I'm kind of all over the map here. Teutonic knights actually do very well against knights as well. That's why I was making them. Figured he's going to archers. He needs support. Red got 
like double pretty much most people's scores at this point. Booming heavily. Lots of fish on lots of fishing. I don't even have enough pikes to stop this. I'm going pikes and I can't even I think I only got like one kill and he got like three pike. Oh, I got two. I got two of them. Yeah, that's about fair, I guess. Shouldn't be losing this many bills, though. I don't know if he got kicked off water or what. No, he's still here. Green knows he's there. I'm not sure they've engaged up here, but they're thinking about it. I'm just busy. That was a good raid. So he kept moving, didn't lose a lot of knights, did some damage, kept me busy. Then went on to the next player. That's how you raid, folks. Hit them, get them to ring the bell, get them distracted, and then get out of there before they get wise. That's the way to do it. Attack on water. Jared is very scant right now. About to lose a town center. Got one and it's safe in the back though. And with the castle on water, he's safe till people get Imperial. Orange is the first up to Imperial. Alright, and I'll stop it there and I'll get back into this. Alright. I think I'm about right where I was before. Sorry, it's been a few days. <laughs> I kind of forgot to finish this. Yeah, we're about at 36 minutes, wherever we left off. Things are still pretty bad. Well, so Gray's actually using men in arms here. <laughs> While people are in Imperial. Orange is up to Imperial, which is good. The rest of my team, including me, are doing pretty bad. Doing pretty bad. Let me turn that down. It's probably loud. Sorry. Red's got the knights on patrol looking for things he can annoy. Don't know why he's not coming to my base because I got like nothing here. I'm about to get a castle up. Teal's barely holding on here. There's a little land bridge in the back here. I don't think anyone knew that was there. I didn't know that was there the whole game. Would have been useful. But let's let's migrate over here. Still thinking there's not too much going on in the front here. There's building up. Oranges attacking and raiding pretty much everybody at this point. Yeah, he's getting in there being annoying. I thought that was a watchtower for a second. Might as well be a watchtower. I don't know why you throw an outpost in there. Ooh, great. Uh, Steve's trying to get up a uh, town center. I think that's probably the only time it was actually useful the whole game. Trying to support Orange here. Scared him off with my knights. They're beastie. They are beastie for sure. Somebody's got to deal with this crap. Purple's got two town centers, so he's getting back, getting back, moving. He's not. Hey, he's pretty down. He's pretty down, but so is so is Jared. He's hurting as well. We got um <clears throat> some sexy eagles, not fully upgraded. Need the bonus forty hit points. I'd probably be doing all archers if I were him. Who's he fighting? Who we got here? Persians? Yeah. Greens clearing up the water. Good move. Good move. Yeah, I, I would have been fine staying on water because uh, 
Red never made any military at all. I know he did. He did. He did. He rushed me at one point. That's right. I just let him have it. Because I'm a coward. Looks like we just found um, a base here. And blue also. Alright, so Aztecs versus the Mayans there. But red is really starting to pull ahead. <clears throat> the big score lead. Yeah. He's going to have trouble dealing with Cavaliers. Possibly Paladin soon. They have two in Imperial and neither and no one else on our team is Imperial but Orange. So he's kind of running on his own right now. Still trying to get his upgrades. Looks like he's got those 40 hit points. That's big though. But it's not going to do any good against Cavaliers. Maybe Archers would have been better. Looks like he lost a Treb there in that exchange. Um, Gray is slowly moving in. I think he's still in Castle though. So this push is kind of delaying his Imperial. I'm going to ram out to take that TC down. And pretty soon it's going to be blue and red versus orange. But look, we have taken the overall score lead here. Which is good, which is good. A lot of that is due to purple being really punished. He got, he got hurt. He was surrounded. A lot of outpost drops here. I think I've seen more outpost drops than I've seen in my life. I'm not, I'm not sure what's up. I'm not, you know, I, I can I can count like the times I've used an outpost in my life on like one hand. It's like it's something I never use. Maybe I should use it more, but it's not my style. It's like it's such a waste of stone. No, it's not really that much stone, but yeah, maybe it's worth it. Maybe it's worth it. I don't know. Purple score dropping just a little bit more there. But red score is advancing. Um, I think that was me getting up. Um, gray. Still not up. Teal walling up, turtling. And how's the front here? It's like, yeah, green Turks coming in with the camels. That'll be a big help. He's got the army. He's got a nice army. I think he's wasting too much time on this engagement. When you got those eagles, you just throw them in the eco. That's what I'd be doing. But it might be walled up. Well, that's his wall. It's his wall. Oh, defend my castle. Don't let that go down. Oh, Jaguar Warriors, good counter. Yeah, I would put the Eagles like right back in here. Get hit blue hard. Blue is just he's really he's had all this time to boom and he's really just not. He's sleeping. He's sleeping on the job. I think Orange could have easily dealt with that those those trebs and not let my castle go down. But what are you gonna do? Still no elite plumes. And again, I can't talk about blues eco when I'm over here with farms dying and I had some space down here I should have been using. Really just Red is moving in really slow here. Looks like he's switching into siege. And blue's got the counter. I don't know why it's not upgraded. And my castle lies in ruin. Alright. <clears throat> what do we got here? What do we got here? Trying to keep that trebuchet standing. I got like nothing upgraded. Let's see what we see. We got. I don't think I get that final bracer upgrade. Next teal is moving. Jared's moving up. That's actually not a bad idea. That's kind of what I was thinking Orange should be doing. 
he's just he's back and forth with these eagles and I feel like he should just be raiding with him he's just waiting to die right now because any exchange he has with those cavaliers or those jaguar warriors is just going to be a major loss of gold might as well put him where they could do some use in the eco here I'm pretty sure he can get back right through here going through his own wall I'm not sure if he knows that and I'm just, I'm not doing good here. I don't know if I lost a castle, but I definitely lost some major buildings. The score is dropping pretty low. But uh, green is picking up, which is good. I don't know. I don't know what he's just, I don't know what he's waiting for here. I'm waiting for a miracle. Yeah, yeah, I would definitely push right. You know, get get Halvadir out just to keep keep those Cavaliers back and just move in with the Eagles. Could catch all those Trebs with their pants down. Oh, come on. Leave me alone. Leave me out of this. Yeah, enough trouble over here. He, okay, Gray is Imperial now, so now it's an Imperial War. Trying to get some Onagers out. I really just don't have any gold. I don't really, I don't really have anything. If you're looking at me right now, it's it's pretty sad. It's pretty sad. Um, but very nice move by Mr. Jared Young. That's very helpful because his eco isn't very strong. He's just putting everything into these castles and gathering our resources. You know, uh, Orange is calling uh, GG. Jared. <laughs> Jared's saying, hey. I'm doing stuff. When you play with the drunken boys, you gotta understand. Uh, we 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 work. <laughs> we work on a different uh, timeline here. Uh, but usually, if you're patient with us, just just be patient with us. You know, we come through. We come through. We don't give up anyway. We don't always come through, but we don't give up. We fight to the bitter end. That's how we roll. Jared and I always say that we're not comfortable unless we're on the ropes. I can't remember if I get anything with this. Do I actually get that? Take it down. Oh, that's really not doing that much damage. One more. Oh. We have to do a test on how Rams do against. I know a seed ram is like two hits. It takes a, a treb down. But I've also seen a normal battering ram hit an onager, not a siege onager, and nearly almost kill it. So there's there's some difference there as far as the attack. But again, that's only 60, and the treb is 150. So, so it's probably taking a good 40 hit points with it when it's hitting. Um, Orange is still holding in here. Right? Looks like there's some good dead red, and the heavy camels from Steve are really helping. Um, and we got a castle drop here from Jared. Very nice. He's definitely picking up the slack. You know, they're on my, my castle right now, and I, don't, I should not let this fall. I'm a, this is like bare bones now. I got like nothing left. Too much trash and a few onagers. Come on, repair that. Don't let it go down. How we doing? But purple is trying to come back here. Nice. Barely saved it. Um, Jared doing very good. Taking some gold. It's kind of switched places now with, uh, with gray. How we doing on the front? Yes, the heavy camels. Very good, very good. So I'm not sure what red's going to do in response to that. Blue is still pretty much untouched at this point. Um, really not upgrading any of his shit, though. It, I'm very unimpressed with his boom. Purple I can't really blame. He got he got hit hard. The double, almost triple team. It might have been a quadruple team at one point. I think even Jared was getting in there on that. <clears throat> the Jaguars would completely turn this around, though. They would they would crush those camels. They would crush everything Orange is throwing out at this point. He'd make them switch into archers. He's just got to upgrade them. Not so much the eagles. 
that plus eight attack, I mean the plus four attack is not that expensive. I think it's about as much as paying for all the other upgrades. So green getting in there, mixing up, hazards, camels, raiding. You really gotta get in there raid. I think if orange raided earlier, it's been a different game. I don't really ever fight toe to toe with eagles. I don't think that's their purpose, you know. I mean, unless you're just fighting trash. I'm starting to chip away now. Hey, kitten, you're making noises. Oh, you're so cute, cute kitten. Um, Jared's doing very well. I think I told him at this point, don't even bother. Just keep pumping out cataphracts. So you might as well, you know, if it's, it's this game where it's clutch like this, why bother wasting resources to go up? And I think that's where Purple's getting it wrong. Like, right now, he needs to support with whatever he's got. He's trying to get up to, he's trying to reclaim, you know, get a big boom going again. He just can't, he's just got, he's got to support. He's getting some stuff out. His recovery time was very long, though. I feel like he should have been that down and out. I don't know how bad he was off. He only got about six villagers out. It looks like red is holding the line. Scout cavalry. Um, blue is taking some of the brunt here, but he's still not upgrading any of this stuff. I mean, you got it, especially for those those pikes. Get that plus four attack at least. Um, gray, he's not elite yet. Oh, that's gonna hurt. Give me, give me another one. Give me another one, baby. Oh, yeah. See, those Chonoku actually do really well against Siege, but all it takes is one good shot. Because they're firing so many arrows that they do extra damage. They actually they crushed, like, two of those actually pretty quick. But all it takes is one good shot. Don't let that castle go up. That's not... Uh, I don't know if I would have gotten more elephants. Probably just switching to hand cannons. Hand cannons is what I would do, but he's probably not doing so good on the gold end. No. No, he's not. That scout's probably not bad. Not bad. So I think camels get the bonus against the elephants as well. Purple, what are you doing? Somebody just slung... Slung purple. I don't know what gray is slinging. What do you got, gray? You got lots of resources? All the resources you stole from us? Ham? This gray guy. No, he's, he's bone dry, too. Well, he just sent resources. I don't know what he sent. Alright, yeah, so he's been pushed off. Red's still managing. He's pretty much playing 2v1, because blue, I don't feel like it's doing much here. Really never upgraded his units. Really never boomed. Oh, well, he's got lots of TCs now. Look, at, maybe he's getting into the boom. I don't know. It's hard to judge. I think I moved down into here just because I was running out of room. I didn't like gray up in my face, but... Now I actually got some space to breathe. Um, okay, so they're pushing Jared back now. Purple's starting to reclaim some speed here. He, nobody's got any upgrades here. Jared's got more upgrades. Oh, there we go. There's the halberdier. Base does Gray have left? He's moving across the map. Why is that? Because he can't retreat? Can't retreat because Teal's here? I don't know. I'm not sure why he's moving that way because he's going to run into trouble. There's lots of gold here, though. I didn't realize there was so much gold. But Green sees it. 
He's not going to allow that to happen. Jared may have won this game for us. Just with being annoying. The turtling up encountering really works. I think that's what Orange should have done. So even though Orange had a way better score, I think he could have learned a little bit from Jared there. You know, you can't play them at their game all the time. You gotta, you gotta write the rules. Get your damn upgrades to him. Yeah, red, red was strong. I don't think I'm supposed to finish this game. I keep getting interrupted. Jeez. It's like two minutes left, anyway. Sorry, I ruined it. You know, you know the drunken boys don't go down. The Eagles are rocking it now. It's like Gray's all pushed back. Purple's just back on his feet, but it's too late. Orange and green are too powerful. Look at their scores. Purple's like, screw this. He doesn't even want to deal. It looks like Blue lost several trebuchets. Blue, I, I think I'm going to place the main blame on in this game. Just, there we go. Now he's getting in there. Now he's getting there. I, just, I don't know. I feel like Blue should have done more. I feel like Red did a good job. He held off the whole time. Can't blame Purple. Gray's advance here was very nice. Kept uh, Jared and I busy the whole game. Almost pushed us out. Elite Jags are probably going to turn everything around. It's never bothered. Oh, what is it on demo loop? Oh, I want to see the crap at the end. Ah, screw it. You know, you know what we did. We did awesome. Oh, oh my goodness. Okay. Yeah, I couldn't let you go without seeing the stats. Let's take one quick look at the map. Yeah, we see it all. We saw it. Yeah, let's just show you the, the stats here. Most kills goes to red. Followed up closely by orange. She did pretty good. Lost a lot, but got a lot of kills. Um, you know, I think red's definitely got the best kill-death ratio. Purple got owned. Owned. Ray got owned, too. He lost a lot. A lot of units. Alright, alright. Best economy. Mixed results. There you have it. Never say GG when you're on Team Drunken. Albadir. Have no fear. You'll be in heaven. Drinking beer. That's at the end of the game. In the stats at the end of the game.